Investors, Alex here, very guide, and today we're gonna check out Chaos Vintage. This is a cool rendering tool for fast animations, real time GPU with RTX. It's a part of V Ray Collection. You can get it uh, if you get a V Ray Collection here. 15 software. I do find it very useful. You can see I got Phoenix, um, Chaos Vintage. Um, I have a lot of stuff here in this collection. All the V Ray for Maya, 3ds Max so um, this is a very cool bundle so i'm gonna use that in order to work on my scene right here first thing if i click render you'll see there's nothing in the scene no lighting no cameras so let's start it from scratch i'm gonna go to top view add my camera it's gonna be very physical camera I'm gonna click c let's position this one Find a nice angle. Okay, so we're here. Something like this. And uh, now let's add some lighting to it. I'm gonna go to my Chaos Cosmos. Going to open my HDRIs and um, let's try let's try some sunset let's see how this thing works okay so i got my camera i got my lighting and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to drag and drop this with instance very uh, sunset the material of my light i'm gonna go back to my camera and now we can fire up Chaos Vintage, see it's switching to GPU, and voila, we are in our Chaos Vintage, Vantage, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, the software is right there, and now let's go back to our 3ds Max, select our HDRI dome, and you can see we can rotate it in order to get a nicer angle this is looking nice okay now let me get another one let's see if we have something better than this hdr i'm going to delete this go to my uh, let's get this one sunset all right so same thing here if we drag it with the instance we'll be able to manipulate this light i'm gonna go to my c camera And wow, this is uh, this is looking much nicer. Let's try to rotate it and find some cool angle. Oh, I see some sun coming through. There it is. I want to have some cool reflections. Something like this. work nice i just want to fix my camera a little bit here so i'm going to select my camera so now let's fix our camera here i'm actually gonna go to uh, 11 with my camera f number so it will have less exposure let's do 11 Let's get a little bit of ISO. So now it looks much nicer. Now we have here something that's called fog. We have two actually of those. And it's a nice addition because we can really have a cool transition. I'm going to push it forward a little bit. And it's just a small thing I'm gonna get at the end to mix my perspective line a little bit better with the horizon and uh, let's fix this one too something like this somewhere here so click to 
disconnect and connect and see how it works i get this you know slight haze at the background kind of mixes the whole thing much better okay now after we've done this we can actually animate our camera so you can see everything here is synchronized so if i activate my camera here and i push it a little forward like this we have a nice transition the door is already animated so it's kind of cool but you can see it's all synchronized with cal's vintage okay very cool smooth uh, camera move right here and uh, i'm also going to do a little trick i want to have steady slow uh, movement so i'm going to open my graph and just select this and make it linear okay now we will not have like the ease in ease out which comes by the default we will have just straight smooth movement it's nice when you do different cuts it flows really good between the transitions from one shot to another if you have this linear move and not easing in is and out okay now once this whole thing is done and we're satisfied with this lighting of course we can add more lights here but i'm just going to keep it simple we're going to switch it to 1080p right here so we'll be able to render it i'm going to leave those parameters as is i really like the lighting now we're going to this uh, tab here you can click get parameters from max so let's put it in our max from 0 to 100 that's the sequence we're gonna do HDTV full full HD and uh, by default here uh, we're gonna get samples 100 and uh, noise threshold 0.5 so I lower it a little down to 0.4 to get a little bit more crispy result and samples I increase from 100 to 400. You can experiment this because it all depends on your graphic card. If your GPU can handle more, it will render much faster. I have RTX 3080, so that's the graphic card that I'm going to use for this render. It's pretty fast, one of the top lines of NVIDIA graphic cards. All right, now that being set up, just make sure you're going to save it. Let's call it Chaos Vintage PNG. PNG with background, so we're gonna have denoiser in it, we're gonna reduce flickering, we're gonna use light cache, and we're gonna have some motion blur. All of those effects been integrated automatically into this rendering. Okay, once you are done, just click start and the animation will start rendering. So just because we increased our rendering parameters, the render will take uh, about 30 seconds per image if you do it on a low end obviously it's gonna run much much faster I just want to get a high quality out of this render that's why I have increased my samples lower the noise threshold and you can see the render here is being calculated so we have 30 seconds per image and that's the image that we're getting it's a really nice quality we're gonna have to add a little bit of a um, sharpen and that will fix and will give this nice and crisp look to our image. So I'm going to leave it to render. The render will be finished with this high quality 1080p. It says here 15 minutes, but I think it will go much faster. So I think within the half an hour, we're gonna have this 100 frames rendered. All right, so the render was done. As you can see here, this stuff looks amazing. I'm actually gonna put this into Premiere. I'm gonna run it through, create an MP4 file, and voila, you have your first animation done within just a half an hour of render, all right? So I thank you very much for watching this. If you have any questions regarding Chaos Vintage, don't hesitate to ask me. Post your comments below. This is Alex, your beer guy. Talk soon, ciao.